Hey, it's the doctor. I'm here today. It's pack battle no- tonight. I'm here with my good old friend, Mr. Groggy, who's going to help MC the show. How you doing there, doctor? Very fine tonight, young oh, man. Oh, I tell you, this is this is exciting. I never I never knew that they played games like this with these cards. This is this is. I, I can't wait to see this. I hear it's. What? Oh yeah, there's the camera right there. <laughs> Oh, they're going to play this game called Pack Battle. We didn't play that when we were kids. No, we uh, threw them up against the wall and, you know, put them in the bikes and spokes and all that stuff. But this this sounds exciting, and people win prizes, I hear, too. That's oh, what... it's, a, it's a big night. It's oh, a big night, baby. Okay. I like to see this. You know, I feel pretty good. I took all my medication, so I should be okay. And everything is good. I feel okay. I got, got a new colostomy bag, so that's ready to go. And I'm all, go, I'm all ready to go here. This, I'm just waiting for the people to show up. You know, I was the bat boy for the Brooklyn Dodgers many, many years ago. It was a great experience. Met a lot of great players. All the great players. Roy Campanella, Jackie Robinson, all those great players. Oh, they were great guys. Ty Cobb was not a good man. He was a mean guy. He was a son of a gun, that guy. I didn't like him at all. That guy would spike his own mother. Let me tell you, he would. He would uh, definitely spike his own mother there. Oh, boy. But I tell you, this is exciting. Uh, I'm supposed, supposed to say that tonight's show is sponsored by uh, sportscardhaven.com. Is that right there? Well, that that's the featured site. Featured this site, tonight. whatever that. I don't know. There's a whole com- bunch of people on there trading I'm cards. I'm 78 years old. I don't know. I don't even have it, a computer. Right? Don't you remember the old days when you used to trade with your friends? Yes, I used to trade well, all the time. Well, these people go on the computer and they trade amongst each other. Oh, over the computer. Oh, and then yeah, they, yeah. And then they mail them to each other and all that, that good that's stuff. That's what they do. The good old postman oh, brings that's, them. That's, that's, see, that's, that's, not, that's a good thing the kids do that. Keep them out of trouble. You know, that's a good thing there. I wish I had all my cards. My mother threw them out. There's a story I'm sure you heard a million times right there. My mother threw them out. Well, what are you going to do? You know, the house was in bed. We had, she had 16 children. 16 children. She was a little mean, but, uh, you know, if you gave birth to 16 children, but, you know, believe me, by the time I was born, I just walked right out of there. There, That's how, yeah, it was It was something else, I'll tell you, though. But uh, it's going to be fun. I, they say it's going to be fun, and I'm looking forward to the kids all playing and winning prizes there. And uh, like I said, I was the Brad boy for the Brooklyn Dodgers there, and uh, I used to rub the mud in the balls before the game, the baseballs, excuse me, <laughs> Watch it there, there, Kim, fella, there. The baseball here to keep you nice. That was my job there, and uh, I had a great experience there at the ballpark. I'm still a Brooklyn Dodger fan. I've, I pray I, every night before I go to bed. Before I go to bed, I get on my knees and I pray to the Lord above that the Brook that the Dodgers come back to Brooklyn. I don't think it's happening, Greg. You never know. Miracles happen. Miracles happen. Like the '69 Mets. That was a miracle, right? The miracle on ice. You were old then. I was old then. I think I was 64 back then. I don't know how old I am. Every day, I I think I'm 82 or 79 or 90. I don't know. I, I lost count there, I tell you. I got hit in the head a few times by some line drives. Wasn't paying attention there. You know, the, the players would tease me during the game, and I turned my head. Boom, line drive, hit me. Yeah, and my brain ain't working too well, so... But I tell you, though, that was uh, those were good times there at the old ballpark. I tell you, but hopefully someday, someday those do- they don't belong there in Los Angeles. I went to the, my nephew lives out there, took me to the game out there. Do you know what they eat out there? Sushi. They eat sushi. Do you know what that is? Raw fish. Now, raw fish to me means one thing, bait. I use that to go crabbing with over there in the bay. I do, I do the rough. I get the fish heads there. I get the big crab. That's what I do with it. I don't eat it. That's not that. You do to eat hot dogs and peanuts and Cracker Jack. That's what you eat at a baseball game, not, not raw fish. I'd say they're a little weird out there in that Los Angeles there. A lot of weird people. The fans are a little weird out there. I tell you, not, not like New York. New York fans are very, very uh, enthusiastic. Very, they're a little mellow, too mellow out there in California for my blood. I like to go, when I go to a game, I get, like to get crazy. But right now, I have to say, I have to say I root for the, the, the Mets. I got to say I root for the Mets because they're, they're the second fiddle in, in New York. Let's face it, they're the, they're the second team in New second York. Second fiddle? Yes. I don't think they'd like to hear that. You know, the Yankees, they win the world championship. It's no big deal when the Yankees win. They win a lot. They do 26. They're on to 26 they won, I believe. I, I, I have to ask the doc here if, if that number is correct. Something, something like that. 26. And what's the Mets got, two? D- d- two. Two. Two wins. So when they win one, though, it's a big deal. Oh, yeah. It's, not, it's a big deal when the Yankees win, but when the Mets win, it's a big deal. And they got a good team this year, so I'm rooting for the Mets. Hopefully, they'll do good this year. The pitching, I don't know. They Starting pitching is the... 
Ain't what it used to be. They got too many teams in the league, I think. Quite personally, that's my opinion there. Too many teams. The league is a little watered down on the talent. I think there's some players up there in the big leagues that shouldn't be up there. That's just my opinion. I think if you want to improve baseball, get it back down to 12 teams, two divisions, and now you got now you have some competition there. Now you have co- competition to the end of the last day of the season there, and that, that's how you. Well, you should only be. have eight teams in each. That's league. what I'm saying. Too many teams. It's like that in all the sports now too. It's it's a business. That's what it is. People want to make money. You know, people pay a lot of money for those tickets. I can't. I can't go to a game. I can't. I'm on a fixed income. I can't afford that. To hey, Mr. Groggy, you know the doc's gonna take you over to the. Uh... Blue Claw Stadium, that's the, the minor I, league yes, team? Yes, I hear about that. I hear it's a, it's a, it's a top-of-the-line facility. Doc's, very... got, Doc's got seats right on the third base dugout. Oh, I, you know, I like that. Because I can't, when I go out, if I go to Yankee Stadium and I sit in the bleacher, I can't see a thing. I can't see a thing. Uh, we'll be sitting right on the third base dugout, right on the dugout, baby. I have a friend there who works at Yankee Stadium. I think you know him, Vito DeVender. Oh, v- Vito was here the other night. Yes, that's what I heard. Yeah, you remember yes, Vito, he right? down yeah. here. Near oh, he's the... in the same retirement community? Uh, he's right nearby me, yes. Oh, hey, he's... you guys sitting on all the ladies over there or what? I'll tell you, he's a, he's a, he's a, how you, he likes to, he's a player, let me tell you. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, he's at a, he's Italian, you know, those Italian fellas, they like, they like the ladies. They, his wife keeps a short leash on him, though, let me tell you, because uh, he likes to he likes to flirt. That's all he does. He fl- I like to flirt, too, but I'm too old. I can't, you know, I, my physical uh, ability is, is not what it used to be. So, you know. Well, you know, we got that pack battle starting at 6 o'clock. Oh, that's, I tell you, I'm I dying to see how this works. I, well, I have no clue. The people are going to be go rolling in soon. We got a lot of prizes but tonight. I, I understand that uh, you win a lot of great prizes oh, here, yeah. and the kids get all crazy, and, oh, yeah. it's like a wild show hey, here. We got we got over 30 McFarlane figurines we're giving away McFarlane this evening. McFarlane figurine. Now, oh, you're going to yeah. have to explain that to me a little well, bit. Well, they're little like statues kind of yeah. thing. Would yeah. that be yeah. one of these things? Can I take a that's look? That's one of those things, yeah. Can I take a look at one of those here, sir? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Wow, that is realistic. Yeah, that look, that's the splendid, that like Ted, that's that the really? splendid splinter oh, right there. Ted Williams there. Let me tell you about Ted Williams there. There's a guy who can hit a baseball. The last man to, to bat 400 for an entire season there. 400 for an entire season. We may not see that again. I think we'll see it again. You know, like I said, you know. With this league, the hey, water. Tony Gwynn was almost there. Well, he's a fine player, Tony Gwynn. There's quite a few guys have been up yeah, there. I think it's, uh, yeah, George, I think George Brett came close uh, many oh, yeah. years ago. I, you think, think he, I think he had about 394. Oh, you know, he came very close. That might as well be 400. He was, uh, he's one of them throwback players from, yeah. Uh, you know what the, the old... interesting thing about Ted Williams, though? You know, he could have sat out the last day of the season. Oh, that's right. That's a good and story. He was, he was over 400. That's a that good point. story right there. Let me tell you. This but man, he decided. Right, you gotta hit. do it, do it right. Swing away, baby. Now don't uh, back into it. Yeah, and he, he was he he was a man. He, he actually man. raised he his man. average that day. And it's, it's amazing. He, he was a good man, and uh, it's unfortunate the later years in his life it weren't too kind to him and his. Uh, well, his well, yeah, if you know a lot about it, his him and his son and the whole story, and they took cut oh, his yeah. head off and he froze his head. It's a disgrace. His son ought to. Well, his son passed too. Hopefully, he's in a very warm place where it's nice and warm. Yeah, so he doesn't get chilly. You get my drift there? So yeah. what, are, what are they going to do with the head? Yeah, chopping the man's head off and freezing it for posterity. Give me a break there. Yeah, you know what he was doing. He was thinking about the almighty dollar. He milked, milked his old man for every penny in his later years, making him sign things and all that stuff instead of letting the man enjoy his retirement. He's making money off of oh, I hope he's, oh, 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 I hope he's in a war place. You know what I'm saying there, Doc. You know what I'm saying. But wow. anyway, he was a good man, and he had a fine career there. And uh, and uh, I just wish him well wherever wherever his spirit may be. So, Mr. Groggy, you were a ball boy for the Brooklyn oh, yeah, Dodgers. Oh, it was a great experience. Did you used to play ball? Oh, right, yeah. As a kid, I played ball. We played what? Stick, stick ball. ball. There you go. <laughs> yeah. We played in the streets. Stick it. You know, you live in Brooklyn. You know, at the time, you weren't too many parks. We had the uh, pros- we had Prospect Park, and we had some other. Right but, in the street, you played. Well, we played right in the street. We had the the, the Spalding, they call it. I don't know, the Spalding, and we had the broomstick. We didn't have a bat. We had a broomstick. That's what we used. We couldn't afford to, to buy a bat. It was the Depression for crying out loud. There. And we and we barely could afford a we, one ball, and that let me tell you, we took care of that that ball. We watched that ball, and so if the ball got lost or went through oh, somebody, the game you, was we over. Had this, 
Where this kid, little little Willie, little Willie, he was a short little kid. And the ball went in the sore. We sent little Willie down there, and he'd go after that ball. He was down there one time for about four hours. We thought he drowned, but uh, he found. In fact, he found a couple of balls that went down there. So we had that was the year we we had a, a couple of backup balls, and we played all summer. And I'll tell you, it was a lot of fun there. But uh, uh, people get a little mad because you get you hit the cars a little bit, and you might break a couple of windows. But you know, we didn't mean any trouble. You know, we're out there trying to have fun and uh, stay out of trouble there. But that. Uh, they still play. I understand, and you could, uh, the doc, you could uh, correct me on this, but in New York City, they still have a, a, I saw this on the news, I think last year, a stickball league. Is that right? They have a stickball league where, where people uh, and uh, the, the older fellas get together. I think the doc ought to enter that league. I'll tell you, that's, I'll tell you it's a lot of fun. It's not you, easy. You know we'd have the best uniforms. I'll tell you. Oh, I know. I see that. It was crazy. Here comes, well, here comes a young fella right here. Look at this here, and another young fella, semi-young fella there. Look Looks at like this. Ty and Bill are in the house. There's, there's Ty and Bill there. Hi, guys. Ty and Bill. Sounds like a law firm. Ty and Bill. What's going on? Come on over here, Ty. Is this Ty? Which one is Ty? Which one? Yeah, I know the camera. You don't have to point it to me. You age I'm pretty bad. I'm trying to talk to him and look at the same time. What the heck is going on? Where is he pointing at? I'm trying to... I can't talk to him and look here. i got to look at the young... Mathias. You age pretty darn bad. Come over here, dear. Get, get in the camera. Be close there, there, there you go. Look you at that. You aged pretty darn bad. I'm telling you. I know. Well, you know, it's the, all those years out in the sun as the bat boy for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Yes. They didn't have what they call... What do they people put on their faces now and the skin there? So, uh, I don't know. Sun, sunscreen. Sun there you go. Screen, That's yeah. it. I didn't have that when I was a kid. A coffee for Mr. Groggy. Now, see, that would be nice there. That would be nice for Mr. Groggy to have. Most people you, your age die if they don't have a cup of coffee. Yeah, watch it there, fella. You, listen, you're not too young for me to hit you with this. No, you know, take it easy there. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I spent a lot of years out there in the sun, and it, 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 it did a number on my skin, as you can see there. I got I got more crevices in my skin than the uh, the Grand Canyon there, let me tell you. Mr. Groggy likes his coffee. Uh, Mr. Groggy likes it with cream and sugar there. Cream and sugar there. That's how I like it. You don't need more sugar. Oh, no, no. I need the sugar. That's with the sugar and the coffee. I need that. Two sugars and some cream is fine for Mr. Groggy. Look at that. See that? They're, they're nice here. Very nice people here to buy me coffee. I got a nice young fella here. I understand that uh, you collect a lot of cards there. Yes. I that's do. pretty good. I, I, uh, did you, what's your best card that you got so far there? Probably the Reggie Bush auto. Reggie, now, who, Reggie, I don't know who. See, I don't keep up with the players today because, you know, I'm an old-timer. I know all the old players there, but I don't know. Tell me who the Reggie Bush there is. He's there. running back to New Orleans. Oh, Saints. football there. Okay, there you go. Football. That's another reason why I didn't. Well, I Bush, watch football. Bush. Reggie Bush there. He, I, I guess I understand he's a good player then, huh? Yes, he is. What team does he play for there? The Saints. The Saints. And what, and what city do they play in there? New Orleans. Oh, New Orleans. That's a nice place there. I'll tell you, I've been there. I went down there once. It was, it was okay. You know, it was uh, it's a, it kind of reminded me of Newark, except it had better food. That's <laughs> basically what I thought of it. i got to be honest with you there, folks. I wasn't that well impressed. You know, the food was great. But other than that, you know, hey, listen, that's how I feel. What can I say? What I are never, you going to do? What am I going to do? What are you going to do? What do you mean, now? now? With, the, with the food, what are you going to do? The what are you going to do? The no, the food is very good. No, the food is very good. But other than that, it was just like, you know, like I said, it would have reminded me of Newark, except, except it had better food. If you go to Louisiana now, I bet you it would be a lot different than it was back Yeah, then. I understand they had a little flooding problem. I hope they worked that out down there. Good luck to those people. Pray to God that they do. Yeah, I hope they get that whole city fixed up. It's a fine city. There are good people down there, and... Uh, and uh, I like to go visit down there again someday. I like they eat those uh, what they call them there. Uh, they call them mud bugs there. Yeah, mud bugs there. Crow little daddies. crow daddies, crow daddies, mud bugs. Little look like little tiny lobsters there. I thought they eat tar tar uh, tarantulas there too, don't they? Tarantulas. Yes. No, I think you're you, you're on the wrong continent there, fella. I think you more of like Africa. Ma Madagascar there. They had told you that. Yeah, eat my thing. Yeah, no, I know a lot about that. Yeah, it's Madagascar. They eat all that there. But eat these little craw daddies. You pinch the tail and you suck the head. That's what they tell you. Pinch the tail, suck the head. They're like little lobsters. You have to eat. You have to eat about a hundred of them in order to get fill up your belly there. But. It's good stuff there. But, uh, okay, that's a good, yeah, and they have a team down there in New Orleans. Wow, I didn't see, I did not know that. Did not know they have a team. To, what other teams they have in New Orleans? Any other teams they got there uh, in there? I really don't know. Don't know. Okay, well, hey, listen, they got a football team, and uh, that's good, that's good, too. What's your favorite sport over there, fella? My favorite sport's baseball. Oh, see, now you're talking, now you're talking Mr. Groggy's language here, baseball there. You know who my favorite team is, don't you? Yeah, the P Pittsburgh Pirates, No, right? no, 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 no. no. 
Brooklyn Dodgers. There you go. The Brooklyn Dodgers. They don't exist. I know. I already did talked about that. But the, they used to have to see the Dodgers. I don't know if you know this, but the Dodgers, they used to be in Brooklyn, not in Los Angeles. Yeah, that was your time. That was my time. I was the bat boy for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Did, did you know that? No. See? I, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was. My job was to rub all the balls with the mud. Oh, Before yeah. the game, yeah, I used to rub the balls with the mud to to keep them from slipping and stuff like that, and that was why that was my big job there. And uh, I tell you, it was a good experience. I don't but know about anybody else, but my favorite baseball team's the New York Yankees. Oh, here we go. That's no, see, no, 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 no. That, I hate the well. I, you know, now if I like the Brooklyn Dodgers, you know, I hate the Yankees. Hey, you can't. Anybody who there's not one person who loves the Brooklyn Dodgers and likes the Yankees that, that doesn't you exist. You can't mock there. my team. You can't do no, it. No, I listen. No, I listen. I give you credit. Twenty twenty six World Championships, right? Twenty six. Yeah. Is that how many? I'm pretty yeah, sure to get twenty six. You know, so you can't argue with success. But uh, I got to tell you, I like uh, I, since the Dodgers moved, uh, I I move. I now root for the the Mets. There, I root for the Mets. So. Yeah. Congratulations. Good luck with that. Yeah. Well, we got a good team this year. You know, you never know. We you might, know. we might meet, we might meet you guys in those series there, like we did a couple years ago. You kicked our butts. I know. You don't yeah, rub it I in. Know, and it's gonna happen again. Yeah. Okay. Listen. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The Cres deja vu. Yeah. Deja vu. Yeah. Kreskin over here. He's predicting the future. Listen. Yeah. Well. Okay. I do it quite well. Oh, you do it quite well. Okay. Let's. Well, let's take your prediction. Let's get it right on the air now. Okay, because the season didn't start yet. It starts when? Uh, Sunday night there. Sunday night. In St. Louis, the Mets got uh, my team there. Yeah. Okay. Mets over there in St. Louis. Who is going to be uh, playing for the pennant in the American League? The two teams. Come on, make your prediction. I'm obviously, obviously, one team is going to be the Yankees there. Obviously. 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 Who's gonna, who are they going to be playing for the, for the pennant there? I really don't know. I mean, uh, you know, I can predict who's going to win the World Series and who's going to be in the World Series, but right. I can't predict that. Okay, well, I, it, it probably, I think it's going to be the Tigers and the Yankees this year and for the pennant there. I think that's going to be the matchup. That's a pretty good prediction. I yeah, think I think that's, right. that's uh, I'm not going out on a limb there, I don't think. I don't think I'm with the old, I don't think Mr. Groggy's going out on a limb on that prediction. And this is A-Rod's last season playing yeah, for well, the Yankees. He, yeah, he's not playing. He's gone. Yeah, unless, uh... Unless he, unless they win the World you Series, you screw up here, you're gone. No, he's gone either way. He ain't staying. He's, yeah, go, he's, he's going with he's, Mr. He's his, not fit for to be a Yankee. Anymore. He's gonna go see Mr. Pretty. He's gonna go play for his uh, second father he's over there in Chicago. He's a pretty boy, like Johnny Depp. Well, let's not get crazy. Did, did, listen, did he still? Yeah, well, <laughs> listen, he puts up some big numbers. Let's let's be honest there. He he's does. still still one of the best players in baseball. He just doesn't. Uh, Perform well under the pressure there. MVP like two years ago. He yes, two years. Yeah, and he was. I think he was before too. He played for uh, I think Seattle there and uh, Texas and whatever. But uh, he's a. Uh, he needs to come through in the clutch. And you know what? If any team wants a rod, guess what? Yeah. Joe Torre will say to you, "You can have him. You can have him." Well, em. well, you know. You might be right because the Yankees, if I'm not mistaken, they won four World Series with uh, Scott, Scott Brocious and who was the other fellow there? Oh. Charlie Hayes. Hayes. They won uh, four World Series with those guys, and those guys aren't exactly uh, Brooks Robinson. You know what I'm saying? Fine players, but, uh, you know, they, they're not exactly, uh, you know. This is Derek Jeter's year. Uh, it says it's his year every year, let me tell you, because that's his team. He's that's, never bad. He's no, no, he's he's a good player, and he performs in, under the pressure. He comes through. Remember that play a couple of years ago when he... he uh, Dove into the to the stands there, mm -hmm. caught that ball. That was unbelievable. How about the other play there, when he uh, the, when he took the ball and he flipped it backhand to the catcher? Oh, I almost that was oh, almost fell off my. That I see. Was I, I I gotta tell you, I hate the Yankees. I hate the Yankees, but but you gotta respect Derek Jeter. Gotta give He's him an incredible. No, 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 no. You gotta. There isn't a team out there that wouldn't want him on their team. Let me tell you, he would be the number one guy. There may be other guys who hit more home runs or hit for a higher average, but let me tell you, he comes through in the clutch, and he's a leader, and he's the guy most any team in the league would pick first. He is. Believe me. So that's uh, that's the story there. With uh, he's the star of the yeah. Yankees. I'm still hoping the Dodgers come back to Brooklyn. That's that's all. That's all. That hey, uh, hey, you know you you gotta have dreams, right? Yeah, you, you know it'd dreams. be a miracle. It'd be a miracle, but you never know. It, yeah, could, it yeah, could happen. You know, you know, you know? It, it might happen someday. That would be the day. I don't I, have dreams. You really, yeah, you, really you might as well not live anymore. And believe me, I. You, I know my time is running out soon there, so... But Let's just say, I hope you're alive to see the Dodgers come back to Brooklyn. Well, that would be the day of all days for me. I would just... I could die the very next day and go to heaven. That would be the greatest day in old Mr. Groggy's life to see those Dodgers come back there to Brooklyn there. But, uh... 
Once what? you die, what are you going to say to Mickey Mantle? I'm going to say you shouldn't have drank so much. That's what I'm going to say. You should have took care of your body. You should have took care of your liver. <laughs> Be around today, you'd still be around. But Eat listen, some more spinach. Yeah, you should have should have respected your body a little better there. But uh, he was a good player, a lot of uh, a lot of ability, a lot of talent. And uh, but uh, unfortunately, he had bad knees. Once the once the knees go, that's that's the end of the ball game right there. And they didn't have the technology they have today with the surgery. You know, today he would have had uh, what they call that there. Uh, the arthur 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 scar arthroscopic arthroscopic surgery there arthritis yeah well that's what i got i got arthritis yeah. all over but uh yeah yeah i'll say hi i'll say hello i'll say hello to all the players you know i'll be up there i bet you will i don't know i, I might still maybe i'll be a bat boy up in heaven who knows maybe you will i'll get or them maybe wings they'll hit you with a bat no 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 yes. that would not be nice I'll, it doesn't matter i'll be already be dead i won't feel a yeah, thing you know yeah they could hit me all day with the bat what the heck's going on there <laughs> how you doing there fellers How's it going? Hey, how's it going? Hey, people are coming in there. Oh, how you doing? Want to come on and say hi? No? Say hello to a million people. Just come no say hi. You only have to no say pressure. hi. Just wave. Come say hello to a million people. Oh, you don't want to wave? Okay. Let's, hey, let's, listen, I'm, do, I, I'm do doing what? an entire thing up here. You know? Oh, no, I'm you can't nervous. do that there. You can't I'm do not that nervous. There. People are starting to come. I can't wait till they start playing this game. That's going to be fun there. I'll tell you. It's a... Tell me a little bit about this. I know nothing about this pack battle. Is it fun? Is it exciting? It is. It's very fun. Oh, there we go. So people are giving me directions. Tell, I'm trying to talk to him. They want me to face this way, but I, he's behind me. But, uh, oh, it's, I can't wait to see this there with the games and the people with the, winning the prizes and stuff like that. I'll tell you, I used to, when I was a kid, I used to pitch him up against the wall. That's what I used to do. And you, I thought, you know, you would think that you broke a few windows in your day. Well, we were just talking about that. We played stickball there, and I did break a few windows. Got in a little trouble, but, uh, you know, hey. That's what baseball is. That's what stickball is. Yeah, right. Yeah, what are you going to do? You know, we didn't have a park where we lived. I lived in the city there, so we had to play on the play street. Play right in the street. Yeah, stickball. The, the Spalding. They call it the Spalding. Little pink uh, spongy ball little there. Little blue pink ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we yeah, we didn't even have a bat. We used a broom handle there. Used That's a broom handle. Did. Yeah. We you, had nothing back yeah, then. Yeah, well, it was the depression. We had no money. No money. If you had a if you had a nickel back then, you were rich. Let me tell you. If you were a kid, you had a nickel, you could buy five pieces of candy, and you were a rich kid. Let me tell you. But if you had a nickel, you could buy three buckets full. Listen, of Listen, you know how much a, that's how much a pack of cards was. You know. Yeah, five cents. I understand they're pretty expensive now. Yeah, there are some nice boxes or a hundred bucks. A hundred dollars. No. You didn't bring enough money. I did can't. You? No, I didn't bring that kind of money. No, I'm on a fixed income there. I can't can't afford that. I, I thought you'd be on a I fixed thought, income. I thought they'd be like maybe a quarter now. You know, with your age, you, you you don't think that you would have that much money. Well, you know, I uh, I save my money there. I save it, but you uh, do. I, I don't need much. But you're gonna lose it today. It's all over. Oh no no I, I'm, oh no I'm not gonna play. I'm gonna watch. Oh, uh, okay, I'm just gonna, gonna watch. I'm gonna be a spectator. You today. can't resist. You is, can't is resist that, the pack battle. Uh, uh, well, I'll tell you what. I got a few bucks. Maybe I'll jump in on that and see how exciting it is. I gotta be careful. I got a weak heart, and I can't get too excited there. You know. Speaking I, of the pack battle, where's the master? Where's Gil today? Oh, I understand. Yeah, he's, he's still in the, Baltimore. Oh, I don't know. I, I understand he uh, he plays all the time there. He's the uh, he's the expert. Oh, thank you, sir, sir. Thank you, sir, for buying me the coffee. Thank you. Oh, look at that there. I gotta take the coffee. See, the there. youngsters buy all the coffee for you. You don't even yeah, need well, money. Yeah, well, that's that's called respect, there, son. You there know, it is. yeah. I fought in the big war. You know, www dot www two there. I fought Okinawa there. Yes, yes. Got shot in the got shot in the ass by a. Bloody battle. Oh, yeah, right. Let me I, tell I you. still have shrapnel in my butt there. Still have some shrapnel. I, every time I walk to a metal detector, the, the darn thing goes off. I was in an airport a couple of weeks ago taking a trip down to Florida. The metal detector comes. The guy says, What do you got? What do you mean, what do I got? I'm 82 years old. What do I look like? Do I look like Osama bin, bin, bin whatever his name is there? He says, well, empty your pockets. Hey, empty my pockets. I walk through it. It's still going. I said, Listen, I got a, I got shrapnel over there. I got a ton of. I, Metal in my butt there from the war. Thinking I look like a ter Do I look like a terrorist? Do I look like the kind of guy that would terrorize people? So just to lock you up, they use a super magnet. They glue. They it come. They no, he, right to it. No, he took a magnet and then it stuck to my butt there. He just he, you know, if you cause any trouble, that's exactly what I'll do. Well, he, well. <laughs> I'm sure there's a magnet somewhere in this. Yeah, place. well, listen there. Don't get smart there, smart guy. Your your time is almost up here, so be careful there. Your time is almost <laughs> up, not mine. Oh, oh listen. Oh, you know, 
<laughs> you know, I'd hit you with this ugly stick, but I see somebody already beat me to it. Okay? <laughs> Listen, why don't you be a nice young fella now? We had a nice conversation, and you got to get all mean to Mr. Groggy here. You're lucky because, you know, sometimes I'm not always in this good mood. I don't know if you saw my last appearance. I was a little... So I'm testing. guessing you had coffee this morning. No, I took my medicine. I take a lot of medication there. You I mean did... like your menopausal medicine? Oh, listen, oh, now, listen. See, now, okay. You're asking for it now. This kid's a smart ass. <laughs> menopausal, yeah, it's very funny there. No. Actually, I think I accidentally took a Viagra, and I think I'm in pro trouble oh, here. But listen. Well. Back yeah. away, back away. Well, listen here. <laughs> listen, stiff neck, yeah. But yeah. up. he's here all week, folks. Yeah. Heard that joke about five years ago. Thanks. Five years ago? <laughs> Listen, what time? What? How old were you then? How old was I then? Yeah. I don't know. Every day I'm a different... I don't remember anything. Every day you're a different, different age. Different age. I don't know. I'm 74, 82, 91. I don't I know. know. You could be the oldest person in the USA right now. I don't think so. I think there's a couple of people... The like 106. I read 100. the paper the other day. The, 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 the last female uh, person who was in the World War I died. She was 114. Oh it was in the God. paper yesterday. I read that there. Oh, wow. Imagine that, 114? How old do you think you're going to live to be? They huh? could just kill me. I wouldn't be... How, how, old, do you, how old do you think you're going to live to be? I'll, I'll tell you how old. If you keep acting up, it's going to be about five minutes. That's how old, okay? <laughs> Listen, the real smart listen, mouth right here. okay, listen, he listen, how do you, wh what school do you go to? St. Joe's. St. Joe's, oh, you go to the Catholic and school there. And you never know it, that I'm in a Catholic school, Catholic I school. certainly don't talk like it. Oh, you went to the old Catholic school there, the nuns there, did they beat yeah, you? Yeah, the nuns they slap there you across the knuckles every time they I get They slap you good. Yeah, good, they, got, they get me right across yeah, the knuckles. where's knuckles, show me, where? Show me, put right your hand. Right on my right knuckles. There. Yeah. there you go. Right across my knuckles. Like that? Like that? I heard oh, that one. They use a 12-inch ruler, and they keep it in their pocket. My mother used to hit me with a spoon there, the wooden spoon on the knuckles there. She used to hit me all the time with that there. Five. Oh, boy. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I, I, I'm getting a stiff neck here. I'm telling you. The kid's talking in my ear. I got to look. They want me to look here, but how am I going to talk to you if you're standing over here? You should really grow a mustache. I think it oh, would no. have a no, I can't. really big effect on you. Oh, I would look good? You yeah, think the ladies? Look, well, I wouldn't say good, but right. better. Oh. Let's put it that way. Oh, better. I don't know. Listen, I don't think there's much room for improvement here. I, I, when you get to be hey, my if age. You, if you never know when you're going to die tomorrow, you know. What yeah, you too. You? you too. <laughs> you too. You know? You never know. Yeah, you might. You might. Somebody might take you out back and beat you with this cane. <laughs> listen. You can chase me around the alley. Oh, listen. I, I'm quicker than I look there, feller. Listen, what was I going to ask? years old and he can run. Listen, you said, you said baseball is your favorite sport. Let's get serious for a minute here. All righty. All right. Now, you told me about the Reggie Bush card. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? What is that? Who cares? Oh, the first oh. round. That's the fr I understand the first one's free. Rick, is that the new Oh, wow. The first one's free. First one's free. That reminds me of a girl I used to know down in Atlantic City. She always used to say that. The first one's free. Anyway, hello, folks. <laughs> that was a riddle. <laughs> you Listen. had a girl? I didn't notice. <laughs> Listen, who on the Yankees is your favorite player? Oh, you said it already. Derek Peter. Peter. Yeah, okay. Listen, that's you can't beat that. What about their pitching this year? You know what? Wang's on the disabled list the, with the Yeah, I understand they got that. Injury. Do you believe this? That Pavano's the opening yeah. day? Who would have thought that would have happened? They were uh, a few months ago. They wanted to you run him. Those they Japanese were, kids are the ones who they want all the strikes. They want it's those Japanese well, kids. The game is starting. For God's sake, I didn't even get to look. Two thousand six upper deck ovation baseball. Oh, look. Alrighty. Do I get one? Give the old Mr. Groggy one. What's going on? Give Mr. Groggy wants to get, let him just le at least play the free round on Mr. Groggy. Going to continue tonight. There. Don't win too much. Time will tell. What the hell? How am I gonna? Can I, can I put this down for one minute there? Oh, I, it's been years. It's, it's been, been years. Sixty-nine years since I did this. This is this is unprecedented. This is this is unprecedented. How many years? I don't know. Sixty-nine. Got an autograph. Seventy. Kirk's the rules. Look at this. Oh. Already. Already. Who cares? Well, look at that. They never. I gotta pick up the microphone there.
They didn't look like this when I collected. Let me tell you. Look at that. It's like a 3D. It's bumpy. It's got like the laces of the ball. It's bumpy, just like your but, skin. No. But feel, do you see that? It's like the laces on the baseball. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty neat. That, that's pretty incredible that they do stuff like that now. I, I don't know any of these players. I got to be honest. And these are what you. the autos look like. You get a Actually, I can't see. Closer there, sonny boy. So Who's that? Like. What player is that there? I don't know. Kirk Cerules. Kurt Salus. Oh, he he's a catcher. <coughs> a pitcher or a oh, okay. Well, let's see. Oakland I'm a, 78 years old. What do I know? I only know old players here. You can't even spell your name. I'm looking now. Wait. I don't. Oh, I I'm not. I got a Yankee player. Oh really? Who? Oh, you might be like him. Johnny Damon. Oh, is he good? Is he a good player? Johnny Damon? Yeah. He's one of my favorites. Oh, I got a Met. That's my team there, the Jose Reyes. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to speech there. Right I don't want to hear it. The Yankees wish they had Jose Reyes. I don't want to hear it. They would trade for him in two seconds. Hey, if we wanted Jose Reyes, we would ask for him. You would have bought him. We want right, him. <laughs> we don't want him. All right, you got Jeter. Okay, listen, if you didn't have Jeter, you'd take Reyes. Who are you kidding here? No, I really want it. You know, the, the Yankees, following the Yankees is like a religion. What the, what, what, now how well, do we I play I'll tell you why. Look at these. Are we off there, the air there? Oh, okay. Joe Torre will grab you by the arm and slap you across the face if you oh, do not you. like the Yankees. There you go, Ty. There you go. Those are he nice will. cards there. So how much are you going to win by this year? 15 to 10. Oh, they're, according oh. to him, they're going all the way there. <laughs> Well, you didn't say who they were going to play in the World Series. We didn't make that prediction. You said, who are they playing? Come on. Probably. Make the pr Probably the Cardinals. Okay. What's your name again there, Ty? Ty says the Yankees and the Cardinals are and going to play. And only time will tell, and not this bitty old bat over here. And who's going to win it? The Yankees, of the course. Yankees. Right. How many games? And how many games? They're going to sweep them? Sweep the yeah, card? Yeah, they really, oh, they're they really gonna are. Oh, they're going to sweep. Okay. You heard it here, folks. That's the prediction they there. They haven't missed the playoffs in so many years, so there's a pretty good chance they're going to oh, get past the playoffs okay. this year. So, Let's you know. See, Mr. Groggy's playing, too? You are? I'm just playing the first round there. Most career RBIs. I can't. Oh, my God, he can't see. Well, of course I can't see. I'm 82 years old. I, really? Really? Most career RBIs. How many does he? Who cares? Twelve, twelve hundred and fifty-one. That's it for me. Did you sell your bush, Tyler? I have it. Right way to go. Wait till he gets you know MVPs. All right, who's the winner here? I got fifteen thirty-six. Fifteen thirty-six there. Kenny Griffey Jr. Oh, now see, there's a fine player uh, there. He gets injuries. Two autographs. Injured a lot, though. Two autographs of him. <laughs> oh, he gets injured a lot lately. Is Leiter back? Mark Leiter? Oh. Okay, who's the winner? What do we got here? We got a winner? It's exciting. 1536. Anybody beating 1536? Ken Griffey Jr. Fine player there. Gets hurt, though. Jr. Like to see him, like to see him play a whole year without getting hurt. That'd be nice. The kid's good. Cut him some slack. Okay. Did you play that round there, fella? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I got an auto from somebody. Somebody you don't uh, even know. Oh no no. I, but hey, if it's an auto, every round, uh, there's a chance that one of them will be a, will be. Pretty decent. Especially, you know, wow, this is this is exciting here. There you go. I see, I see the right, he's getting get another box here to open. Uh, the guy got it, uh, Which one is that? I can't see it. The Minnesota kid. Yeah. What's that there, some fella? Oh, he's gonna give it to me there. Let's see what we got here. Uh, upper deck. Oh, look at that there, upper deck. Oh, the new stuff. That's uh, what I, I think. Want. I think your favorite player there is on the cover there. The, the it thing. is Jeter. You got that right. Derek Jeter. But uh, hey, if everybody could play like Jeter, the game would be really, really boring. Let's see. Let's Mr. Mr. Groggy's going to open it. I bet it is. Mr. Groggy will open this up here. Yeah, use your teeth. 
I'm afraid my, my teeth might fall out if I... <laughs> These fake Come dentures. There. Can't you pop your teeth oh. out yet? Thank you there, young fella. Oh, uh, let's see. This is, I haven't done this in 69 years. This is amazing. Look at that there. Wow, these are nice too. Yes, I'll show them to everyone. Let me find a nice one here. Look at that there. Find a, a rookie there. There's a rookie card. It doesn't go. Whoever that fella is there for the Red Sox. Thank you there, fella. Thank you. Wow, these are nice. I'll open your packs like that. Okay. I mean, they had nice cards you know? like this when I was a kid. Those were really nice. Don't they look nice? They're very nice. That's show them. Show I did, them right? To I the show. Camera. I did. Look at that. They are really, really nice. Yeah. Look at that. That's you a know what I love about this stuff? It's nice. It's great quality, and I like it. Well, and it's, look how shiny. And Jeter signs an upper deck. So. What is this? Is like plastic on there? It? Is it plastic coated? Or? It's another uh, rookie card there, Troy. Oh, I can't even say that name. Look at that there. These are nice. Now they got auto they put autograph cards in these things yep. too. Yeah. And they put pieces of the jersey and that in there. And sometimes pants, but I don't prefer pants. Wow. For several reasons. Well, there you go. I like. I have a piece. For, I have a pair of pants when I was a bat boy there. Wow! Look at that there. Bust them open. Bust them open, he says. I was a little quick on that. Look at this. Let's go. They got all their statistics there on the back. That's pretty nice there. I tell you, it makes me wish I was younger. Wish I was younger there. But I guess you could be young at heart and still play the game, right? It's, it's, it could be young at heart. Oh, this is exciting there. Look at this. People are looking at older cards there. This is exciting. I see I see little kids. I see uh, older people here. What are you talking you. about little kids? Well, I see a little kid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I tell you, did you open yours up there? Nope. Somebody got one of them. Somebody got one of them there jersey cards you were talking about there, young fella. Oldest player. The oldest player. Oldest player. Wow. Let me. Seventy-six. See who I got there. That's uh, Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, I gotta, I gotta check this. Sixty-six. Oh, come on. Greg Maddox. Oh. Sixty-two. Oh. No, I didn't win that. That's for sure. The oldest player. Wow. There's that. Well, no. The, they got that fella on the Mets. What's his name? He's forty-nine years old. There. What's his name there? Julio Franco, yeah, that's he my shouldn't teammate. should be playing 49, well, listen. Everybody's having a lot of fun here, I'm telling you. This is this is exciting. See, we used to we used to pitch him against the wall. And if he landed on top of the card, you get to keep it there. Hey, kids, they don't do that now. They, they take care of their stuff. They put them in these plastic holders and everything. Look at that. That's amazing there. Now what does that do? Look at that. Now is that one of them there jersey cards? Now that's a piece of the player's jersey and they put it in the card there. Now look at that. Look it's nice at that. stuff, isn't it? I just that's that's see now that's uh, that's good. That was not his day. Look at that. And now you're putting it in a plastic thing there. And and that pr that protects it. Wow, Roy Holiday. I guarantee you I will walk out of something. Thank you, thank you, dear young fella there. That's pretty nice yes. by the end of the night. Oh, let's check Five, this out. 10 o'clock. Oh, we'll it's an autograph card. Worth something. Oh, Chris I Shelton. He you. plays for the Tigers. He hit a lot of home runs a couple years ago. Look at that. I don't know if I can't. Here we go. There you go. Look at that, the Tigers. That's a good, fine young team they got there. Chris, Chris Shelton, rookie card there. That's... Look at that. That's a beautiful. That's beautiful there. There you go, sir. Thank you very much there, sir. I tell you this. See, I, I, I learn in stuff all the time. I didn't know they did that. I thought they just had regular cars. I thought old people were supposed, were supposed to be wise. Well, I am wise, but I haven't played cards in, in 69 years here. I thought that this was is, the, this thing is the first for time. people your age to play poker and lose all their money. Yeah, they lose get all, really yeah. Mad. You're, 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 you're gambling right now. You're gambling with your future I'm there, fella. I'm gambling with my life. Yeah, That's what sure I'm gambling are. with.
Bro, you're going to be singing some high notes in about two minutes there. 2006 STX base pal is your hobby pack. It's a $9 round. Bring it on. Yeah, did, did, why don't you share the mic? Like, give it to this guy. I want to talk to this fella. I want to interview you. Come on, there. Let's, give, your, give your gums a rest there. How you doing? Uh, what's there? up? What's up? What's... Listen. Yeah, get in the car. I can't. I, he's telling me to look here, but I'm, how am I talking to him? No, 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 no. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. All right. What's your name, young fella? I'm there? John. You know John from Manchester. Frequent. Oh caller. yes, I know you. You're mm. the. <laughs> yeah, you're the you're the uh, the Jeopardy kid. Yes, yes. Likes the Jeopardy. I like the Jeopardy too. Listen there, to yeah. tonight, but listen to right. Jeopardy tonight. Dude. What did you think of that fella a couple uh, year ago? Uh, what's his name? The one all Ken Jennings. Oh, that was unbelievable. See what what, what gets me about Jeopardy is some people play like I don't know like that deal or no deal. That's a get, stupid game. That's you get just, like hundred thousand dollars. A million dollars for nothing. You could be an idiot. Exactly. You could be a moron. But, and Jeopardy, you could be a genius and, and get twenty thousand dollars. Yeah, he had to win like <laughs> for four months <laughs> yeah, to get right. a million dollars. <laughs> I, I don't get it. Neither do I. It's, but that's America for you, right there. That explains right a lot, there. right there. Yeah. And then, no. and then the other about a couple of weeks ago, three players I saw that night. Yeah, they tied. Right? They finished in a tie. See, that guy was nice though because he like could have won. Right. But the, I guess he liked the other two guys. So yes. you know who he was. You know the better man and better enough. So right. they all would right. tie. Right. 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 You know, I, I like that about them because he must have liked the competition. I don't know, but that, they say it never happened before. Yeah. That was the first time there. Oh, that was but good though. That was you, good. you think he might go on there one day? They have kids know. Jeopardy, you know. I know. I, I think I'm think i thinking about doing it next year, but... Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. Do you play that game? I, I have my nephews. They play that game, uh, what is it called there? Trivial... Uh, Pursuit. Pursuit there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever play that game there? I don't know. Well, actually, we have a Jeopardy at home, but right. we get to pick out the category, so I'm always looking for the science See, this or the is sports. A, this or... is a smart young man there, right there. Stuff like that. What, what school do you go to there? I go to the what Mates does... Academy down in... Uh, Oh. Stafford. It's uh, like a vocational school for oh, science is, and math. People, is that like so. what they call a magnet school there? Is that one of the magnet schools, you know, uh, where, where the gifted children go, where the uh, smart kids? Yeah, the, we're, we're pretty smart down there. Uh, that's okay. You can we, brag. It's okay. We, we hold our own, let's just you say. You can brag. It's okay. That's good. Yeah, that's we, we hold good. our own down there. Okay. I, I got so I a box topper there. Uh, he gave me this to open. This is something special now? Yeah, is that I think what so. Only one in a box, so. Oh, so this is special. Okay. Yeah. Thank you there, young fella there. Oh, I can't. Uh, so I yeah. feel like a young man now. I tell you, I feel in, I feel in better. My heart actually feels better. I feel this. I should do this more often. <laughs> Definitely. I feel Why this not? is bringing back memories of all the gang and the kids. Okay. We were like the dead end kids, is what we. Did you ever watch the dead end kids? <laughs> hey, anybody out there knows the dead end kids? That's we were the real dead end kids there. Look, it's from the good old days, you know, 1958. Look at that, yes. Baseball. It's a $3 oh, land. oh, oh, wow. Uh, oh, looks, <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Captain Jim Jem Mint <laughs> is going to want this. <laughs> I know him. Oh, my skin is falling <laughs> off again. I hate when that ha I have a skin disorder. I, I got medicine for it, but it doesn't seem to be working there. No, not, not hey, that well. Everybody close their eyes for one second. Ready? One. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Mr. Groggy's going to leave soon anyway. But look at that. I understand Captain Jim Jen Mint might show up tonight. We might nice. entice him with this. Listen, I think we're gonna take. I, I think we're gonna t take a little break now. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh wait, we have an autograph card right here. We need to see. Rookie auto too. Nice. Taylor Buckholz. Look at that of the Houston Astros. What's the number two? Fourteen. Look at that. How do we? Lowest card number. Fourteen. Nice. No. What's that number two? Oh, that's. There's no number on that. No, it's on the front. Oh. Nine ninety nine, nice. Here you go. Okay, here you go. Okay, we're gonna take a little. I, I'm gonna take a little break now. Yeah. Whose card was that there? There you go. Thank you, young man. There, and uh, we're gonna we we'll take a little break. And I understand we're gonna have uh, some more people come on to to host this tonight show. I tell you, Mr. Groggy had a lot of fun. It brought back a lot of memories when I was a little kid. I think next time I might come and play. I feel better. Listen, I'll see you folks again next time. Uh, Mr. Groggy saying goodbye now. Take it easy. You gotta think a fast one. You gotta think a fast one when Vito the vent is around. I'm on the host. You wanted to, uh, yeah, take it a piece. No, you gotta stand over there. I gotta throw them to you. Alright, alright. Okay. Like in the ballpark. I, this is my spring training. I have to practice.
Joking. There you go. Don't worry about it there. A peanuts, say. Eh? Who wants the peanuts? Peanuts. Peanuts are for you. Okay. I just peanuts, eh? It's a good to be here. Well, there's a more peanuts on the floor. Hold on a second. A peanuts. Uh, Vito the vendor is here. You wanted the peanuts? So there you go. The peanuts are for everybody. I saw. I just saw uh, Mr. Groggy over there. Yeah. Oh boy, this is a something. I tell you what, the kids are having the fun. This is an amazing. I tell you, the kids are having the fun. They're throwing the peanuts. It's good to be back here at the backstop. Everybody's having the fun. Only at the backstop here. Everybody's eating the peanuts. Says Vito the vendor. You might recognize me from the Yankee Stadium. I throw the peanuts down to the first base line there. Oh, this is amazing. I tell you what, they're playing in a game here. Look at this. This is something else here. They're having a lot of fun, let me tell you. Having a lot of fun. That's what it's all about, having a lot of fun. I tell you what, this is a something here. Everybody's eating the peanuts. Hey, peanuts, hey. peanuts. Hey. No, it's a peanuts. Hey. Peanuts, hey. Italian. You got to talk in Italian. Peanuts, hey. peanuts. Hey. Hey, you people re re recognizing me from the Yankee Stadium, I tell you. Vito Devender. Many, many years I work at a Yankee Stadium. I started when I was 16 years old. I started pushing a broom, pushing this, cleaning up the cigarette butts and the candy the wrappers. And then I work my way up at the vendor. I start off in the right field. And now I got the seniority. I got the seniority. I work at the first base. I behind the, behind the dugout, the first base, the Yankee dugout. I got the primo. Primo spot. I see all of the celebrities. I see the Al Pacino. I see the Mayor Giuliani. I see all of the celebrities. I even see royalty. I even see royalty, you know. I met royalty. I met royalty last year. A queen. I, I met a queen. I met a queen. What's her name? Uh, a queen of Latifah. Yeah. She's a queen. I don't know what a country's a queen of. I have some African country. She's a black, beautiful black woman. She's a queen. Some queen there. Oh, uh, I tell you, I meet a lot of the celebrities there. I tell you, I have a lot of fun. Oh, it's a good job. I have, oh, I have a good time. I got to be careful, though. I get hit with the foul balls a lot. That's, uh, I used to speak a good English, but I got hit with the foul balls, and now I talk like this. This is what happens, I tell you. Right. Oh, man, what's going on here? Look at this. Look at this. This is something else here. They're playing the game. I, I was talking to Mr. Groggy. He was trying to explain it to me. Uh, he didn't make any sense, I got to tell you. He didn't make no sense to, to Vito Devender here. But uh, I understand they play a game without their baseball cards and all of that. And uh, I think I'm going to start collecting the cards again. I used to collect them when I was a kid. But uh, I think I might have started collecting. I might come here and play the game, too. You never know. Top's finest baseball. It's $8 a pack or $45. Minga, $8 a pack. It used to be a quarter when I was a kid. What's going on here? An autograph. Well, that's a something else. Too. So you get an autograph for playing card. That's a, that's a pretty good. I tell you what, this is a something here. Look at this. Look at this. A lot of the kids are here. People are playing the money. Look at this. This is a something. I tell you what, this is a something. Look at this. You get the, the yeah, Mr. Groggy was telling me that the players now they signed the baseball card. That's a something else, huh? That's a something else. And they put a piece of the jersey and a piece of the bat now. Oh, that's a something else. Mr. Mr. Vito's got a summer collection, let me tell you, because the players, you know, they have to, they have to, at the end of the year, they give me the autographed bats and the autographed balls and the autographed glass. I got a lot of stuff. I can't even tell you where I live. You can tell you where I live, you might come and steal all my stuff. I got a, I got a bigger collection, let me tell you what. I tell you. Look at this here. Look at this. This is something. Look at this. This is a something here. Playing a game. I tell you what, this is a sub. This is a good. This is a. This is what the. Yeah, this is what the people. This is what the kids should be doing. This is. A, this is something. That, yeah, yeah. Look at this here. Kids are drinking a soda, having a fun. This is a something else here. Look at this. No, this isn't soda. This is beer. Oh, the kids are drinking a beer. Oh, watch out there. Watch out. You get into trouble there. We're drinking a beer. I used to drink it. When I was a kid, my mother used to give me the wine, a little bit of the wine. Hey, help me sleep. Before I go to bed, she'd give me a little, little bit of wine, and I sleep like a I sleep real good. You know, it's okay. Hey, Vito, Vito, why don't you tell the rest of our uh, viewers then how you know uh, Mr. Groggy? Uh... Well, Mr. Groggy was the bad boy for the Brooklyn Dodgers uh, for many, many years, and then I meet him. He come into the game. He come into the Yankee Stadium to watch the game. I meet him. He telling me his story. I tell him my story, and then we become a friends. 
And then he retired. He comes down to the Jersey Shore with, where Mr., uh, Mr. Vito lives. And now we are good friends and we hang out and we tell stories about all the older players and all of that. And now, and we find that there's a store and we, and we meet the uh, dear Rick and the uh, doctor, Dr. Wax a battle. And uh, this is exciting. This is a, this, they never had a this. And when I was a kid, I tell you what, this is a really something here. I tell you. Oh, man, people are having a good time. They're opening the cards. They're eating the peanuts. I tell you, this is a something here. Look at that. They're opening up the cards now. Let's see, let's see who wins at this size. This is exciting here. I tell you what. I was looking at some of these cards today. I tell you what. Oh, they are nice. They are so nice. Let's just see. I hear somebody might got an autograph card. I like. To, I say I never see that. I like that. To, I like to see that. I never saw the autograph card. I like to see that. Oh dear. Yeah, this kid. I understand that this kid. They told me about it. This kid. This is good, Mr. Lucky over here. Every time he gets all the card. Let, let's see what you got. Let me see the card. Let let Vito see the card. Yeah. Thank you. Look at that. I can't read it. The autograph. Andrew Miller is a rookie. As a rookie card. So a rookie, you never know. He could become, uh, you know, a bigger famous baseball player and it'd be worth a lot of money. Detroit Tigers is a good team. That's a good team right there. Yeah, one more time, you look at that. A, look. look at that. Look at these cards. Look at that. It looks like a medal. Looks like it's a made out. Looks like it's a made out of metal. That's amazing. The technology they have today is unbelievable. There you go. Good luck with that. That's a very nice. That's amazing there. That's what I tell you what. This is a something here. Oh, this is a something. I tell you what, though. You come to Yankee Stadium, look up for Vito. I'll be down there behind the first base line. Ah, uh, we're all in celebrities, all right. So, uh, you just wave to Vito. Maybe I'll throw you the peanuts. I'm a good friend with all the celebrities. Billy a Crystal, he's a good friend of mine. Mayor Giuliani sends me a Christmas card every year. Mayor Giuliani sends me a Christmas card. Do you believe in this? I get a Christmas card from a Mayor Giuliani. He running for president. He wins. He becomes the president. I get a card, Christmas card from the president. Let's see, another rookie card, another autograph card. Oh, look at this. What is it that? It's a black refractor, number He's, 99. He said he called it, he says he's a black refractor. Well, I don't know what that means. You there you go. There, bring it up and let him show. Look at that. What are you looking for on a card, Drake? Right? We're yeah. looking for the tallest player. Oh, it's like a look at that. Look at the technology on that. A black refractor. That's a beautiful. Look at that. All the, that's amazing. I tell you what. You know what? A Vito, I think a Vito got a new hobby. You know, I retire. I'm a semi-retired. I still work at the Yankee Stadium. But you know what? I need the, uh, uh, you know, I, I like it to fish. But I think it, this would be something for me, Vito, to do, to collect this. I save it for the grandchildren. You know, I put it away. I give it to the grandchildren. There you go. Thank you, sir. Very nice there. Well, look at that there. I want to talk, I want to, talk it to that fellow over there because he got a the Babe Ruth card. He just left. I understand that that fella, there's a fella here, he got a card with the Babe Ruth the jersey. A piece of the Babe Ruth the jersey. Even the Vito never see that. And I work at the Yankee Stadium. Well, oh, they got a jersey over there and they got it in the showcase, you know. But I mean, the uh, actual jersey that you could feel, he, he got that card. I like to see that. I tell you what, there'd be something else. Oh, who else is here? Oh, what's going on? Oh, my mustache, yeah. Woo. I tell you what, eh? this is a something there. Let's just see who won. Let's see who won. Oh, this is something. Look at this. I tell you, they have a lot of fun at this store. I got to tell you, this is a fun place. This is a fun place. People are having a good of fun. And there's no alcohol. You watch it yourself there, no alcohol. You're kidding, he wants alcohol. That's just something. I understand that we are sponsored tonight by sportsahavener.com. And I sponsored the feature the site, whatever. I don't know. I'm a Vito. I don't know the computer. What do I know? Sportsahaven.com is the feature site tonight. And we also have, now this is a sponsor. The, sponsored by this. Oh, I know the professor. Professor Lou. I know Professor Lou. He making this. I tell you, Vito, drinking this. I tell you why, drinking in the morning. 
Oh, I tell you, I feel like a million dollars. I got a, I got a lot of vigor, a lot of energy. I go fishing, I go walking right here. Let's call it the fix. You go, you go what? You go buy this stuff here. You go buy this stuff. You feel real good. I tell you what, very good there. Oh boy, and the Ultra Pro there. Ultra Pro, we sponsored by the Ultra Pro. They make it the plastic thing that you spot that you put the cards in. Is a very nice. And uh, let's see what do we got here. Look at that. It's called an exafractor, he says. I don't know what an exafractor is, but look at that. Look at that. Like a rainbow, it look like. Look at that right there. That's the Ryan Howard. He hit a lot of home runs last year. 50, uh, 50 home runs last year. There you go. Look at that. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful. Uh, thank you so much there. These cards, they look amazing. They're like, they're like art, like a piece of art. This is an amazing thing here. Wow. Wow. I understand. On the, hey, sir, I'd like to talk. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'd like to talk to that gentleman who had the Babe Ruth card. I want to talk. I want to talk. Come on over here. Uh, please, come and talk. Two minutes. Oh, my God. I want to talk about the Babe Ruth. This is a big deal. Come on, the Babe Ruth card. Oh, you see, I understand. You know, he's a little shy. See, now you would like to hear about that. The I meet a Babe Ruth daughter. He, she used to come into the game. I meet her, a very nice lady. Very nice lady. Back in 1998, Bowman Chrome Baseball. 1998. That ain't too long ago for Vito, let me tell you. 1998 is like a recent for me. You have to go back to 1942. Price of $3. Oh, see that's that's my price at three dollars. I uh, oh boy, this is a something here. I really want to talk to that fella. Yeah, this would be an interesting story. Talk about it, the card. Hey, affiliate Mike, affiliate Mike, affiliate Mike. Get the over here. Take a two minutes. Okay, there you go. Talking to Philly, how are you doing, a younger man? Now, I understand that you got a special card from the Babe Ruth, and it has a piece of the jersey in the card. He didn't give it to me. Well, I know that. He's been a dead. For, even Vito knows that. He's been a dead a long time. I know that. But I understand you got a special card. It's a hard card to get. Yes, you did, yes, you must have been very excited when you I'm get it. Very a excited. Yes. I pulled it right here at the back. And you could actually touch it and feel it and, and all of that? Well, I guess you can do that, you know. So. You don't, you have the card here? No, I was. Ah, uh, see now the, the Vito. Oh, you sold it the card. Yeah. Why you no keep the card? I didn't, I didn't get it for peanuts, you know. I got real money for this card. Uh, how much you get it for the card? You can you say? I mean, uh, uh, around uh, get, uh, more than a thousand dollars. One in three. So wow, that's a one in three thousand dollars for the baseball card, but it has the Babe Ruth the jersey. Wow, well, that must be exciting. I, I tell you what, that I wish I was here when you pulled that card. I tell you, all right, thank you so much for coming and talking to Vito. See, that wasn't too bad, was it? It took two, two, two seconds there. I tell you that. Talking about the card, that's all. That's amazing. Some of people, though, I know people. They don't think that's so good to cut up the Babe Ruth jersey. It's like a, what they could say, sacrilegious. Sacrilegious. That the, the jersey should not be cut up. But, you know, you cut it into pieces, then everybody gets a piece, you know? Everybody gets a little piece of the jersey. I don't know. It's a, There's a two ways of looking at it, you know? Uh, two ways. I understand that it's a historic. You don't want to. It's history. You don't want to cut up the jersey. I understand that. But, you know, it's, it's good for the game of baseball. But that must have been something. I even Vito would be excited to see something like that there. Oh, I get, I get to Vito gets to open a pack of cards. All right, uh, excuse me. Uh, thank you, younger man. I get my mustache getting in my mouth there. Oh, oh I'm sorry. This is the uh, Bowman Chrome from a 1998. That's a few years ago. Let's hold the wrapper up so you can see a bomb and a chrome. Here we go. Oh, let's just see who I got. See if I know any of these players. You know, I'm an older man. I don't keep up with the. Okay, a Bobby Smith. I don't know who that is. That's an auto. Uh, I don't think it's so. all. No, no, no. Australia said I think we know the vendor and Mr. Groggy share a bottle of finest together.
Let's see, they stuck a little together there. Let's see what else have we got. These are very good to look at. Chris Abanson. Uh, Chris uh, somebody else. Uh, oh, the Wade of Boggs. I got a Wade of Boggs. He's a bigger player. Look at that. There, Wade Boggs. Wow, he's a good hitter. He played it for the Red Sox. I don't, you know, I don't like. He played for the Yankees, too. He won a World Series for the Yankees. In 1996, he rided the horse around. I remember that. Vito remembers that like it was yesterday. He rode the horse with the policeman around the stadium. Very exciting moment there. Look at that. Look at the technology on this. It looks like a medal. That's amazing. I tell you what, I understand it now why the kids are liking the cards so much. I, I see how, why it's so popular. I thought it was just, you know, pictures of baseball players. Yeah. This is just something else. They got the autographs. Wow, this is a something else. We got more people are coming in here. Wow, this is a something else here. I tell you, people are eating the peanuts, uh, having a good time. Rick, hey, Jerry. Rick here. Hey, how you doing there? That's a Rick. Rick. I'm talking to Rick at there. I got things running, going crazy here. I tell you what, this is a something else here. I tell you, people are having a lot of fun. They're eating the peanuts. I've been stocking the shelves all stocking the day shelves. Look at all of this long. stuff. This is unbelievable. We're waiting for the doctor to arrive. He oh, the doctor, may, he may be here tonight? He's coming later on. Oh, that's a good. I tell you, I love the doctor. He's a funny guy. Look at this. Yes. Quesadich. 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 Hey. Que fa. Hey, are you going to be at the Boss of the Sauce on a, uh, Monday? Boston. You, you're going to be at the Boss of the Sauce contest? I'm going to be at the oh, Boss I'm of gonna the Sauce. Oh, I'm going to be there. I'm going to be voting for Johnny G's. You know that. My own, he's got good he food, got huh? He's got the sauce. Oh, he make it the thin, thin crust pizza. Melt in your mouth. Melt in your mouth. You could eat a whole pizza and you don't feel a heavy on the stomach, you know? He make it the thin crust. Oh. Hey, V. You know he's going for the uh, uh, second a win. A second win in a row. I understand it, yes. Okay. See or no? <laughs> oh, he's going to win. Oh, don't you worry. I tell you what. I go there all the time. I eat all the time. I get at the muscles. I like it, the muscles. Did you ever eat at the muscles? I understand that people from all over the country are watching tonight. You know, you got to... The little mussels, oh, they're so good with the hot sauce on it. If you come into the Jersey Shore, you go to Johnny G's, you eat the mussels, these are good, let me tell you. Oh, this is Italian, this is exciting in here. People are looking at the cards, having a good time. Look at this. How you doing, us there, younger man? Look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, wow, look at that. Liking that? That's a pretty good. Yes, that's a pretty good. The youngest player. We are what is he hoping so? It's a well, it's a, it's a little side deal that he's going to do with somebody. <laughs> a little, little trade. He's going to make it a trade with somebody. <laughs> Look at this. The people are having the fun. This is a something else there. What is the what is the category? I missed the that. What are we looking for? Oh, the youngest player. Oh, let's just see. Oh. Oh, I like to say a hi uh, to a Karen in the Nashville, Tennessee. How you doing, a Karen? I hope you're having a fun. I love a Nashville. The food is a good and the music is a good. I like to come down there someday. Maybe I come and visit you. Okay. Oh, it's a Rick's sister. Yeah, maybe we're definitely coming down then. I uh, look at that. Let's see, 19, no, we did, but somebody else 1990, 1990. Thanks. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, somebody else out of the Born in the 74. 74, no good? Uh, 74. Who's got it? Okay. And we got a winner. We have a somebody who win. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, I see. They get it a raffle ticket. Oh, I see. You got 74. Very good there. Uh, more people are coming in. I see we got a Met fan. That's okay, Vito. Listen, even though I'm a Yankee, that's okay. Even though I work for the Yankees, you know, I can't say anything about the Mets. I, it's, uh, it's, uh, I get in trouble if I say, you know, I got to watch what I say. 
There you go. Now listen, well, he said it, not to me, you know. I got to stay loyal to the Yankees. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I, but I, listen, if the Mets are winning, it's a good tool. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, I tell you, come to the Yankee Stadium. You're looking for Vito Levander. Don't forget. I tell you what, this is, this is nice. Well, listen, that's what I say. You know, I understand. Mr. Groggy was here. He's a Met fan. Mr. Groggy, a Met fan, because he was a Brooklyn and a Dodger fan, but they're gone now. So he's a Met fan. And the Vito's a Yankee fan. But we good friends. We good friends. It's okay. There you go. I tell you what, this is a something else here. Ah, uh, I'm telling you. Oh, there we go. Oh, boy, we got a little problem here with a little. <laughs> yeah. It's a little little closer in here. It's a little close. Oh, look at that. Oh, we got more people coming in, I tell you. I see the lights all come flying on already. Oh, this is something else in here. You traded away my Jack Lambert card last time. Look at this. Oh, uh, look at that. Huh? Yeah, that's, I'm going to take a little bit. I'm going to take a little break now. I'm going to live, give other people a chance to come up and do uh, do their thing. But it's a good to be here. Vito had a good time. And I'm going to stop by from time to time. Okay. You take it easy now. All right. Bye-bye now. Hey, it's the doctor. I got a special guest tonight. He's here in the house. All the way from Greenwich Village, New York City. Welcome to the room, Frankie Fanook. Oh, spank me. Spank me. I'm so sad. Oh, going the wrong way. There we go. She's going the wrong way. Hello, everybody. Oh, bienvenue, everyone. Bienvenue. Oh, it's exciting here. Oh, which way? Uh, this way over here? The camera. Oh, my God. Do I hold the mic or what do I do? I just sit here? This is exciting. Who wants to be a fairy? Fairy dust for you. Fairy dust. I love throwing fairy dust. Oh, this is exciting. Everyone's playing a game. They're playing pack battle at the backstop, and I'm so excited. Frankie for new time. Oh, this is exciting. Let me tell you. I got my... Oh, they keep going the wrong way. There we go. That's the right way. Every time... It's a pop. It's always a party when Frankie's around. I'm a fan. I'm, I'm sweating in places I don't even watch. Oh, this is... Fashion consultant to the stars. Fashion consultant. Oops, sorry, wrong way. There we go. Oh, great. Got him. Silly string. Oh, that's silly string. There you go. Take that. That's for you. Don't spray that now. He sprays the That's okay. You can spray it. Don't worry about it. It's a party. We're having a party. Oh, my God. Look at this. I am the fashion consultant to the stars, as you know, and I am a relationship expert. Unfortunately, I'm not in a relationship right now. Go figure, but I'm an expert. This is exciting, let me tell you. It's good to be here. Grandma Fanuk is, thank you for your cards and letters. Grandma Fanuk is doing very well. She's up on her feet, but I think I'm going to stay. I don't think I'm going to go back to Hollywood for a while. I think I'm going to stay at the Jersey Shore, spend the whole summer here. What? Maybe I'll meet somebody on the beach. You never know. I might get lucky. I need to get lucky. It's been a long time since Frankie got lucky, if you know what I'm saying. Mm. Oh, my God. This is something else. Oh. Oh, I know Reggie Jackson. Let's go. Let's show me that card. Oh, my favorite team, the Yankees. Love the Yankees. Love Derek Jeter. He's gorgeous. A Rod, gorgeous. Oh my God. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, I'm sweating in places I don't even wash. 
How you kids doing? You having fun tonight? Yeah. Good. Yes. Here you go. Yeah, Here, you can have that's that. It's okay. Here you go. Here you go. Who wants some beads? Who wants some beads? Would you like some beads? Been on my neck. That's where they've been. Smart guy. Can't get them off. It's crazy. Oh my god. There we go. Want some beads? Nobody wants beads. Oh, this is exciting. The kids are having a ball. Oh, my God. I should have bought my nephews if I knew this was going to be going on. Ooh, I'm sweating all over the place. Sweating, sweating, sweating. Do I get to open anything? Do I get a pack? Uh, how you doing, young man? I know who you are. You're the famous kid who got the famous card, the Reggie Bush card. Yes. Everybody's talking about it. Yes. I know. I am like, now I'm like a celebrity. You are. You're a celebrity. I understand that pi I understand the pirate wasn't too happy that night. Now you have to be my uh, fashion consultant. Well, listen, I am an expert, uh, fashion consultant, fashion decorator. I'll decorate your whole house and make it look like a palace, like a palace. I understand the pirate was a little mad at you that night. Yes, yes, he was. Kind of, kind of stole his thunder. Kind of. He was, he was so proud of himself. Oh, I'm sorry. I, gave, I have another one. I'll give it to you later. Oh, my God. This is something else. It's like a madhouse here. It's crazy. It's crazy is what it is. It's crazy. Robin Yout. So what's new, Greg? What's new? Let's see. Um, well, I told you, I'm staying in New Jersey. I'm not going back to Hollywood. I'm going to stay. I have to take care of Grandma Fanuc. And... I'm going to be stopping by from time to time. I'll be at the beach this summer. You'll see me. You can't hey, miss me. Is the me. doctor live here? And what else? Hey, Frank, you know, we busted that box of 2004 Bowman Sterling that the pirate wanted. Is that the one the pirate wanted open? That's right, and it was a smoking hot box. Is that the one the pirate wanted open? That's right. It had a David Wright autograph in it. You know, the pirate was right. You should have opened it. See that? David Wright autograph. Had the Houston Street refractor. Remember that auto. night? I watched that night. I saw that show. That pirate was right. Two of the Supo auto had three hot rookies in their autograph. When did you crack that open? Wednesday night, baby. You snooze, you lose. Ah, the pirate's gonna be mad. He's gonna be not too happy. He's gonna say, "See, I was right. I should. I was right about that box." Oh my God! It's crazy. Pirate, he was right. He was right. Grabbed that box right off the shelf. He knew what he was doing. Who's got the winner? I'm telling you, people, if you're in the area, Jersey Shore, come on down in the summer. It's great. The beach is only about four miles from the store here. I'm telling you, you come here, you have a good time. You go to the beach, go to the boardwalk. Go to Johnny G's, boss of the sauce, go there, you have a good meal, then you walk on the boardwalk, you get your exercise up and down the boardwalk, and then you go back to Johnny G's and you eat a cannoli. Oh, it's crazy. It's crazy in here. Oh, I'm sweating in, I'm sweating in places I don't even wash. I'm telling you. Oh. I'm hoping I can meet somebody. Maybe this is a good way to meet somebody. There's a lot of people out there watching. If you, you know, if you're single and you're looking around, give me a call. It's not easy. It's not easy meeting somebody. Let me tell you. I know it's hard to believe someone like me can't meet somebody. It's crazy. I'm not particular either. Let me tell you. All the water and pizza, and I'm assuming it's coming from Johnny G's, which means I'm going to eat about nine slices and then get very depressed because I'm going to gain five pounds, which means I have to go to the gym tomorrow. Oh, I'm telling you, this is something else. I'm telling you, this is this show is taking off like you wouldn't believe. When I was out in Hollywood, people were talking about it. People were dressing like the doctor, Paris Hilton, walking around with the tie-dye shirt and the hat and the, and the hair. And the. I said, listen, honey, there's only one Dr. Wax battle. 
How you doing, fellas? Thank, thank you. See, a compliment. Thank you. It's about time. It's about time. A nice young man just said I look beautiful. Thank you. That's what I need. I need my confidence. I'm a little low on the confidence. That's your second one? Break him the phone. Mr. Rick, did you order some pizzas in? We're going to take some callers. That's what we need to do. Take some calls. If you need any advice on relationships, call me. I'll help you out. No, call. Call. Hey, it's the doctor. We're taking live callers right now. 732 506 9311. Yeah, Call in. You want to talk to Frankie Fanuke? We got a lot of highlights coming up tonight. A lot of big cards getting pulled. Stay tuned, baby. Rob, the producer, spelled restaurant wrong on Monday. So, hey, Rob, the producer, you got to learn how to spell restaurant. I think there's a, I think there's an A in there. The featured website like analyst. The featured website tonight is SportsHaven.com. Dot com. Dot com. And we're sponsored by, also, we're sponsored by The Fix. Love The Fix. It's good stuff. And Ultra Pro. Those wonderful things you put your cards in, that protect them, that keep them safe. Ultra Pro. Buy it. It's a madhouse in here. It's crazy. It's like Studio 54 back in the day. Back in the day. Hey, Frank, why don't you explain to everybody what they're doing here tonight? What's going well, it's a game. What's it called? It's called, it's called a... Pack Battle. And everybody plays. Doesn't matter. Everybody from 70, 7 years old to 70 years old. Doesn't matter. And they have a lot of fun. How do you, play? you buy a pack of cards, or as many as you want. There's like 25 rounds. And you get a, you could buy one pack. You could buy 10 packs. It increases your odds the more you buy. And uh, each round, there's a winner. And you get a raffle ticket. Goes in the, uh, the old fishbowl, as they say. And at the end of the night, they have a drawing for some fabulous, 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 fabulous prizes. And uh, it's a lot of fun. And then at the end of the year, they take all the tickets, all the tickets that people got, and they have a big drawing for mega prizes, mega, mega, mega prizes. And that's usually at the end of the year, the last Friday in December. Big, big party, big party. You gotta come to the Jersey Shore, folks. You gotta come down here. If you have time, come down. You have a blast. You go to the boardwalk. Have you ever been to Seaside Heights, Point Pleasant? It's amazing. You walk the boardwalk. You eat some ice cream. You have, you have some French fries. You have some food. You have some fun. You come to the backstop. You hang out. You go to Johnny Cheese. I'm telling you, it's a great place. Very, very underrated. Very underrated. No, in a few minutes. How you doing, fella? How are you? Come and say hi. Say hi. No. Where do you go to school? What school do you go to? Beachwood Nursery. That's a good school. That's a very good school. Do you want to say hi to anybody? What's your teacher's name? You have two teachers. Wow, my God. What's the? Do you remember the name? Missy. Uh huh. Wow. Is she a nice lady? Yeah. You like it? You have fun? Oh, okay. Good boy. Want to say hi to your sister? Want to say hi to your sister? Looking What's your sister's hi. name? Hi. Emily. Emily. Wait, 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 wait. Say, hi, Emily. Hi, Emily. Your brother says hi. He's having a good time. He's having a lot of fun. One pack. Good job. Say bye bye. Good job. He's a doll. What a doll. I'd love to have a child someday. I don't think that's going to happen, but you never know. Just miracles do happen. Oh, uh, look at these wonderful children here having a good time. Hello. You see yourself on TV? You see yourself? Look, say hi. Do you want to say hi to anybody? Does anybody want to say hi to anybody? Oh man, look at this. We're having a blast. You folks gotta come down here. You gotta, you gotta make it down here. I'm telling you, you have a good time. 
My heart. <sighs> hey, I'm glad doctor. I caught the fan. I'm telling you. Hey, Frankie, how was the Oscars? I heard you were out there big time. I'm telling you, I had a great time at the Oscars. Your name was being buzzed around. All the famous stars, the children, they collect. They're on the website. I said, I know that fella. I went to school with him. We grew up on the same block. Dr. Wax Battle and Frankie Fanu grew up together. Went to the same school. I said, yes, I know him. In fact, I'm going out there. I'm going to visit him. They couldn't believe I knew who, I knew who Dr. Wax Battle was. First career home runs. First career home runs, baby. Home runs. But he's a buzz. He's a buzz all over the country. Hey, listen, Frankie, I'm the buzz all over the planet, baby. Buzz all over the planet. I think his head is getting a little too big All there. over the planet. All over the place. It's getting a little, head's getting a little too big, but that's okay. I understand. I deal with these, I deal with these stars all the time. Right here, Gene, Gene, the dancing machine. Oh. Oh, I, somebody got something special. Oh, Matsuka, he's the big star for the Red Sox. Big pitcher. Dice K. You didn't think Frankie's into sports, I know. I'm a freak. I'm the last guy you would think who's into sports. I love sports. I love it. I follow it all the time. Dice K, the big guy for Boston. Boo. Boo, Boston. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. boo. I'm a Yankee fan, so what can I say? Here we go. We're going to look at this card. Special card, autograph. Dice, is it, what is it? Wait, what do you got? You got a Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. Oh, my God. That's a big card right there. What else did and you get? Let's see. The same round. The same round. Oh, my God. Frank, you got him in the same round, baby. Same round. Oh, oh, oh. Look, that's the kid. That's the Ken Griffey auto. Tsusaka pitcher. Okay. Let's see what else he got. And that's the Dice K guy. That's it. That's Matsuzaka Dice K. Yeah. Team Japan. Look at that. Right off the bat, I'll tell you one thing. I was reading back at the other day. I was reading the Beckett magazine, and this card here, I believe, is a two hundred dollar card. I'm just saying, I'm pretty sure from what I remember, this card is about two hundred dollars right there. Yes. Very nice. I would love to have that card. Wow. In one round, he got both of those cards. Imagine that. His night is made already. There we go. We have a winner. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, this is exciting, folks. Imagine that. A Ken Griffey Jr. and he got the dice K. That's a $200 card, folks. Look it up. I'm pretty sure. Wow, everybody's having fun. Frankie Fanouk, we got a big night tonight, baby. A lot of stuff getting busted. This is that was unbelievable. Flair I see. I'm looking at the shelves. He's got tons of shelves stuff here on the shelves. That was Flair Showcase, baby. Flair Showcase. Those are good cards. I we like got those. A hot Ken Griffey Jr. autograph. Was smoke, smoking he hot. Got a, he got the Ken Griffey and Dice K. And he got it. Oh, yeah. That's a two hundred dollar card. That He's nice got guy. the hot hand, baby. Hot, hot That's hand. Amazing. A lot of action happening here tonight. This is something. It's Place cooking. Is it's cooking here. We're waiting for Gil to call in from Baltimore, Maryland. Gil is down in Baltimore. Nick Audio you guys down there. Nick Audio and Gil down in Baltimore working. Otherwise, you know Gil will be here. He's a fixture here. He practically might as well just put a cot over here. He might as well just live here. But he, he'll be calling in, hopefully. I'm sure he's very jealous about... The Ken Griffey and the Dice K. He probably, if he was here, he would have got it. I know that. Hey, Frankie, I got a special guest in the house right now. Jersey John. Oh, Jersey John. From the Pull of a Lifetime. He's going to come yes. up and chat a little bit. Here comes Jersey John right now.
Oh, look at this. How you doing? How you doing, Jersey John? Good, how are you? You're still, f you're, you're so famous just from that one thing, that one card. You're, you're looking very good today. You might have well, a shot you know, me. Listen, as you know, I'm a, I'm a fashion, I'm a fashion icon and a fashion expert. If you need anybody to be made over, give me a call. Possibly my I would call. love to, oh, I'd love to make you over if you know what I mean. <laughs> listen. <laughs> But it's amazing that just from that one card, what's well, a special card, but you're so famous, it's like uh, you're known all over the country, all over the world. Well, the doc made me there, though. So That's the Doc's products that brought me to fame, right, Doc? Now, what card was that? It had, it had the Babe Ruth order. It was a one of one. One of one. Cut signature of Joe DiMaggio and a cut signature of oh, Babe Ruth. That's, that's unbelievable. It was a that's, really nice piece. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's, that's... I would love to have that. I would love to have that. I put that in my house. You know, I collect all kinds of kitschy stuff. To me, see, this store reminds... It's kitschy. It's very kitschy. You know, you put it right next to that Justin Timberlake poster you have. Justin Timberlake and Lance Bass. What about Lance... Jackson? Well, don't forget Lance... No, don't like no. Done with him? No. You guys no. are through? No, he's a he's a sick man. He's a kid toucher. I don't like him. Sorry. <laughs> Goodbye. No. I don't like him at all. Don't care for him at all. Sorry. Gotcha. I like actually what was I gonna say? Oh, so did you keep that card or did you sell it? Uh, I sold it. Uh, I bet you got it. Bet you got a pretty penny for that. You don't have to say. I, no, I did it. I did all right on it. Because I, underst well, I understand. I understand. Well, I think my time is almost up. I'm going to head out of here, and uh, it's been good to see you guys. I'll be on the show from time to time. You could call in. I could give you advice, relationships, fashion, anything, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Okay? So it's been nice seeing you. Take it easy out there. Bye. All right. It's good to have you guys back. It's Jerry Armolino here at the Backstop. It's Pack Battle, last Friday of every month here. It's a crazy show. You just saw Gil open some product there. Uh, he's down in Baltimore right now doing some work. He's going to call in, hopefully. Uh, it's been a good show. A lot of guests. Mr. Groggy forgot his cane. I don't know how he got out of here without the cane. He could hardly walk. So I don't know how he got out of here, but uh, he was pretty excited. I saw him. He was pretty excited. That's it's the most excited he's been in years. So I think he had a good time. Uh, what you get there? Auto, Lance Broadway. Picture for the Chicago Check it White out. Sox. Lance Broadway, a great name, great name by the way. And look at that auto. That mu that must have been the first one he signed. When he when the, if you if you see like the hundredth card he signed, it's like a straight line across. You know, his hand cramps up. There you go. Good card. What's that? Oh, you got a. Is that a, what did you get? What is it? You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Got a smart guy here. <laughs> Trying to trick me here. It's a fugazi. You know what a fugazi is? It's a fugazi. Fugazi means it ain't real. It's fake. Everybody's having a great time. We're uh, our featured site tonight is uh, sportscardhaven.com. Uh, also sponsored by. The Fix. <laughs> Professor Lou, good friend of mine. I drink this. I run every day. I run like three miles. It's as far as I can run, but this definitely helps. I'll tell you, I have this before. I get a lot of energy, and I get to do my run. Good stuff. And we're also sponsored by Ultra Pro. All the great products by Ultra Pro. Just put, put your cards in. Uh, your autograph baseballs. Uh, the sleeves for your, your books, your catalogs, and everything. It's uh, top-of-the-line stuff. Uh, w Go to their website, www.ultrapro.com. Look at all their products and see what they got. Uh, it's been a great show here tonight. Everybody's had a blast. Uh, saw Frankie Fanuke on the way in, too. What a character that guy is. He's throwing fairy dust on me. What's up with that? Fairy dust. Said you want to be a fairy? I said, no, nah, it's okay. I'll leave, that, I'll leave you to, to do that job yourself there. But he's a good guy. He's a real good guy. He's got a good heart. He's a good person. And uh, everybody's having it. The kids are here having a blast. And it's just been a wild, it's a typical fun night at the backstop. Uh, last Friday of every month, uh, if you're in the area, if you plan on being in the area this summer, if you're, coming, if you're going on vacation, if you're going, even driving through New Jersey, just stop by, say hi. Uh, look forward to meeting you, the gang. And uh, have a great time here at the Jersey Shore. It's a great place. 
uh, come down here to the backstop, go to the Jersey Shore, go to Seaside Heights, Point Pleasant. It's a great place. Uh, go eat at Johnny G's. Food is great. And uh, we're all having a great time tonight. It's uh, a lot of good pulls tonight. Somebody pulled a Ken Griffey Auto and a Matsuki jersey card, same round. Uh, so a lot of good pulls tonight. Uh, they're pl playing another round now, and uh, we'll see what uh, we'll see what transpires there. And I'm sure somebody will pull something good. What are we pulling now? What are we playing now? <laughs> Upper deck. Pro signs. Pro sigs. Uh, there's a lot. What's in that? One autograph per box, and uh, I think there's a lot of good rookies in this. In this uh, also, so uh, see what uh, see what happens. Is that yours? A lot of packs left. A lot of packs. Three dollars. Let's go, Devo. Let's go, Devo. I don't know if Gil is watching down in Baltimore. He might be. Yeah, he's not working now, so I don't know where he is. But he uh, he might he might be on a computer somewhere watching. Right? If he is, Gil, how you doing? Hope you're having fun working down there in Baltimore. Hope you're checking out some of the card shops down there. Uh, Cardshopfinder.com. And you can find shops anywhere, but uh, Gil said he was going to look and see if he found any car, uh, card shops in the area. So uh, if you're down in the Baltimore area, head out to the, tomorrow is what, Saturday? Head out to your local card shop, and you might, might run into the world famous Pack Buster himself, Box Buster himself, Gil. Let's see what we got. We got an auto here. Gianni Estrada, Estrada. I like to put the, the Spanish uh, emphasis on. Nice auto right there. There you go. Opening day, Sunday night. Mets, Cardinals. Looking forward to that as a Met fan myself. And I'm looking forward to an exciting season. I'm a little worried about their pitching, as is all Met fans. But uh, nobody nobody really has a... Whoop, 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 whoop. whoop, whoop. We had a little earthquake here in Jersey. A little earthquake. We got earthquakes here. You didn't know that, huh? You thought California got all the earthquakes. Got a, a big, earthquake big battle camera. going on here, Jerry. Big battle, baby. It's battle time at the backstop. They're smoking hot rounds tonight. I don't want to steal his lines. Rick, it's smoking hot, but I get in trouble with the doctor. If I say smoking hot or unprecedented, he usually gives me a rap in the head because that's he's got that. That Those are his lines. How you doing there? Big night tonight. We're on TradingCardsCentral.com. Doc's in that room. Featured site tonight is sportscardhaven.com. Getting those chat rooms will still be on all night. Is that Fast Eddie on the line there? Oh, Eddie, how you doing, man? Let's see, can wait? It's 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 crazy here. It's real crazy. You can hardly hear you. Why don't I just hold the phone and then talk to him like a normal no, person? Right there. That's good. Go ahead. Can I do that? No, 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 no. Huh? There we go. Oh. Try it again. Hello? I want to make a bet. Okay. Say that one more time. Okay. The young fella behind you. Yeah, that's high. Okay, right. Okay. Okay. Right. He said the Yankees win the World Series. I, I, I said the Yankees are going to win the World Series. Oh, you said that too? You think the Yankees are going to win too? He, sa he says the Cardinals and the Yankees. The Cardinals and three to beat the Yankees in the World Series. You, and, then, and, you're, and you're agreeing with it? No, no, no way. Oh, okay. Who, who are you, what's your prediction? The Cardinals? Yeah. Three. A green streak. A sweep. Okay. So you're saying the Cardinals are going to be winning the World Series this year? And if he wants to make a bet, okay. I'm willing to take it. Oh, okay. You hear, you hear that He's willing to bet you. Make a bet. With, what would the bet be? How about his Reggie Bush card? His Reggie Bush auto. I got a nice one and one 
Bob Gibson, one of my favorites, all-time favorites. You're not willing to bet that, though. I, I, I wouldn't bet that, that's for sure. No, just tell him if he wants to take it, we'll do a $25 game or something. Okay, all right. He's willing to bet you a $25 card. You see, he's saying the Cardinals are going to win. You're saying, yeah, you're going to take that bet? Yeah, he's going to win. Are you taking the bet? He says he'll take the bet. No, it sounds good, right? I'll lay it to the next stop if I lose. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to the place tomorrow to get you guys this T-shirt. Oh, that'd be great. And he's getting our T-shirts. Uh, you have to do. It's gonna have to wear a rugby league one on okay. the show. Okay. Local team down here. That would be great. Okay, buddy. All right, I'll talk to you I soon. Is there. I'm missing all the action. It looks great there. Don't forget when you come back to the states to come visit us. Oh, for sure, mate. I gotta go up there. That's a that's a classic. I'm glad you guys are in the hobby. It looks like all the kids are having fun. Oh, it's, we're having a blast. All right, it's great. Just remember, you got a guy down here in Australia that collects Stan Musial. Any extras, let me know. Absolutely. Absolutely. We'll definitely let you know. You'll be the first. Okay, buddy. Please have a good one. Thanks, Eddie. Thanks, Thanks a lot. lot, Eddie, for calling. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. Australia, folks. Eddie from Australia, a loyal, loyal watcher, loyal viewer, a loyal caller. Calls all the time. It's ex always exciting when he calls. And this is what I say to you, Eddie. Oh, here we go. The Yankees will win the World Series, yeah. and the Cardinals will lose. You notice how he's talking trash after you hang up the phone? Yeah, that's, 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 yeah. yeah. I gave him the phone. He didn't have two words there to say. There are kids here. I no, can't put oh, it. Yeah, okay. I have a conversation with you. So they got a bet. That's an <laughs> official bet. Don't forget now. It's a $25. There are kids here. I can't tell you how I put it. Okay. Yeah, and I, yeah, and you're not a little kid. Okay. Yeah. So they got a bet going. $25 card. Uh, game used card, and Eddie's gonna put one up, and he's gotta go home and find one. And uh, we gotta long, right here. we gotta wait till the end of the season, but uh, at least we got something uh, to talk about the rest of the year. Jerry, Jerry, let's take a let's let's talk to John from Manchester for a second. John, come over here for a second. Here, take this microphone. What'd you what you pull tonight? Anything good? I don't know. Tonight's kind of in a down night, you know. But you know, it's still Mr. a backstop. You're still gonna get good cards. Night's still young. Know what I mean? The pizza's coming. We're still going to do sweet spot. We're still going to do some football. There you go. You're going to get something. And the pizza's coming. That's you know, the most important if thing. If you're at the, the back stop, coming. you're going to get something. Just to let you know. I mean, that, that's just how it is at the back stop. I mean, you see Tyler. You see all these kids busted. I was one of them. You always get good cards when you're at the back stop. That's just how it works. Everybody goes home with something. Everybody goes home happy. That's exactly, for sure. Exactly. Exactly. Even if you just eat the pizza, it's worth it because that's how good the pizza is. I, I mean, Doc knows how to run it. Exactly. I mean, he's breaking out the 98 Bowman, and he knows someone's going to get something. I mean, exactly. you just know it doesn't have to be an auto. That's right. But it's at the backstop. Someone's going to get something. Good job. I got a guy today at Walmart. I think we got another caller. What are we cracking open now? I don't know. Yeah. We got Bowman Chrome. Oh, 1998. Yeah. Bowman Chrome, folks. 1998. I don't even remember who the big rookie was that year. Who was the big rookie that year? I don't know. Looks like uh, Kerry Ward's on the cover, but he's a bust now. Well, you Yellow. Who else is after that? 2001. It's the backstop. Hello. Anybody there? Hello. <laughs> Kerry Woods on the cover. No, we lost. That's Kerry Woods. I mean, Kerry Woods. That's not his year. Let's wrap it up. Oh. Yeah, he was done. done. Okay, folks. It's been a wild night here at the backstop. Yeah. Everybody had a great time. Woo a lot of characters.